The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Now at the plate, C.J. Inahosa, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard towards center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Batting second, the dedicated hitter, Dave at the plate now, David Freitas. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Corey Ray. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Now the one and one pitch is in there for strike number two. Count is one and two. Fastball laid off well below the knees. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, a 3-2 count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. The third base. Into the box now, Patrick Leonard. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Two-one. Two and two. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Cabbage is there. Two down. Coming to the plate That's now, good. Blake Alamon. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 2-1 pitch. Round ball foul down the left side. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Striding into the box, Joe Cronin. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the one and one pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. In now, Akil Badu. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. In there, one and two now. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Chopper to first, might only get one. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Digging in, Todd McCain trying to get him started again following the double play. 1-1. One, one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hummel will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Second inning set to go, and standing in the outfielder, Chad Spanberger. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Gets him looking up around the letters. Stepping into the box, Jake Gatewood. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. 
bouncer to the left side. And there's out number two. Now at the play, Cooper Hummel. He'll work on keeping this top of the Cooper. second alive. Hummel. No score here as we play inning number two. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, what a stop. Touche, sir. Riding forward now is the D.H. Royce Lewis. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time. And it's back to even now at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Into the box, Ben Rortvet. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The one two. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. That is good. The right field. Stepping in now, Trey Cabbage lifted the other way out to left center. Hummel will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Digging in now, Jose Miranda. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 1-1. Lortbet is off of first with two away. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So coming to the plate, Skyler Ewing, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Here's the one and two delivery. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. The 3 1. Fly ball right down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now with the plate, David Freitas. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he misses again, ball three. Third inning, no score to this point. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks here with now one away. The center fielder. So Corey. striding in, Corey Ray. Ray reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2. and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. 
And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. The back, the third base In now, Patrick Leonard. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Wander Javier. 1-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Ray. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now to the plate, Mark Contreras. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Spanberger is there and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in, Joe Cronin. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he fouls this one off. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Blake Alamond comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Badu is there, and he has it for the first out. The At the plate, Chad Spanberger. He got called yeah. out on strikes his Spanberger. last time through. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A.B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. The count now at two and two. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Into the box now, Jake Gatewood. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hit hard to short. And there are two away now. Digging in the switch hitter, Cooper Hummel. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. 1 and 2 now. Two out, nobody on. Misses, ball 2. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Another 2-2 offering. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get through it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Akil Badu. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Counting two and one. Sent on the ground out to second. 
and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. Now a throw over to first and he has to dive but he's back in easily. Nobody out runner on first. Into the box, Todd McCain. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit hard, but this is a foul ball. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. So stepping in, Royce Lewis, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a line drive. And a leaping try there, but he comes up a bit short as this is into left center, the base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. Now Hector. To the plate now, Ben Rortbeck. A little low, it's two and two. fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ball lined to the left side. Foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is in there. A called strike three. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Trey Cabbage. So far 0 for 1 with a fly out. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. 1 and 2 now. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves, only look over the hard row 17 inches. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone, count full now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hummel is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. So striding forward now, Jose Miranda looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Coming in is Ray. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Joey Crable, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 65. All set for the start of the inning, and now it will be the catcher, Skyler Ewing. The 1 1. There's a slider taken for a ball. Strike two called and it's even at two. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. 
Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, C.J. Hinojosa. It was a walk in his last trip. The 2-1. Is a fastball nope. down below the knees. I got three one. Three ball, one strike. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Ready for another shot now. David Freitas. David Freitas. Fouled off. Now a move over to first, just keeping him close. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Ground ball sent back up the middle to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Riding in, Wander Javier. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. It really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. It's late. He's safe. Almost got him after the great stop, but it's a base hit, and the leadoff man's on to start the inning. So now to the plate, Mark Contreras. The second for one. Return throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Joe Cronin. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Bob the throw pulls him off the bag. Now back, better fielder, Akil Badu. Stepping in now, Akil Badu lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, Corey Ray. Here's the one and one delivery. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep. Oh, and it's off the foul ball in right for a home run. At the plate now, Patrick Leonard. Nope. Fastball runs in tight here and it's two and one. up Javier is there and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning digging now in back. once again that Blake Alamond one right. run in and one gone Alamond. so far in this inning the 1-1 one, one pitch Two boy. One strike. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Standing in, Chad Spanberger. He went deep last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's ball two now. Slice down the left side, but foul. The 2-2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Todd McCain. 
Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike, the count. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ray is right there, one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Royce Lewis. A fly out and a single for him so far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And that's the second out. Standing in, Ben Rortvet. He's one for two in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Randy LeBlanc is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 44. Seventh inning ready to roll. And here comes the first baseman, Jake Gatewood. The 2 1 home is looked at for ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Hit out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Ready now, Cooper Hummel. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The 1-1 one, one home. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2-1 to one our score. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Skyler Ewing. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Line drive to center field. Badu is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. John Olzak gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 14. John. Last half of the seventh here, and next it'll be the outfielder, Trey Cabbage. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first down. Okay. One out, nobody on. Fastball in there, three and two. Now the three and two. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. How about it? So a pivotal moment here and digging in now, Wander Javier. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. And he'll get back in safely. Runners on first with one down. Ground ball right side. And that is in the right field, the base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Standing in now, Mark Contreras fouled away. The one two. Slow grounder to first. One there. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Digging in, C.J. Inahosa. He'll start us off in the eighth. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Nice. 
interesting pitch selection right there in off the plate. Not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting him get on first base free of charge. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Now that Next will be the designated hitter, David Freitas. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Slider is right there, 83 on the gun. It's one and two. And he fouls this one off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous <laughs> off-speed pitch. Two and two the count. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And it's fouled away. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Popped him up. Cronin moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Corey Ray. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. The one two. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Clayton Andrews is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58. So the lineup flips over and digging in Joe Cronin. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B. Maybe once a game. Maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. To third. And through into left field. So the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. In now, Akil Badu. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Todd McCain is on deck. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Now better. So digging in now, Todd McCain. He flew out in his last at bat. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Adam Bray enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Patrick Leonard. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Now a bullet down the line, and that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. Legs churning, he's headed for second. The relay, and he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Second base. Into the box, Blake Alamon. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt, it's three and one. Squared that one up just a little late. 
going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Chad Spanberg. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. The swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And gone. An absolute bomb. To the plate now, Jake Gatewood. Two balls and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll. But... And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Wait, Justin Topa comes on looking for a save here in the bottom now, of the ninth inning. Number 52. Justin. Into the box now, Ben Rortvet. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Popped him up. Gatewood in foul ground. Into the stands. He got it. Stepping into the box, Trey Cabbage. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Smoke toward the hole. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. Pro will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one out base run. At the plate, Jose Miranda starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Ah, and he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. They'll go to second for one, and it's by him into right field. And lucky for them, the right fielder's there to back up the throw. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And stepping up as the shortstop, Wander Javier. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Misses with that one. Ball four, and that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. Stepping up now, Mark Contreras. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder is on the run, but he can't get to it, and this might clear the bases. He pulls into second safely as we're now tied after a pair of runs score on the play. Aaron Wilkerson is called upon to get the final two outs of the ninth and send this one into extra innings. At the plate now, Joe Cronin. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, D. Where with the runner in scoring position, the sack fly brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, D. Row? Yeah, right here you are looking. And they're going to walk off with a 4-3 victory.
That's what you call doing your job, folks. He knew he just needed to lift one to the outfield, and that's just what he did. Hey, a walk-off sack fly isn't as dramatic as a game-winning hit, but it's just as effective. Great team win right there. It was mostly pitching and defense in this one, but the man you see here made some noise with the bat, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Well, the numbers don't just jump out at you, but his lone hit was a really important one, and sometimes you just need to come through what it matters most to be the hero, and he did just that. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Blue Wahoos used a three-run ninth to help propel them to the win. Adam Bray gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Stands our final line score. First for the victorious Blue Wahoos. Four runs on nine hits. No error, but they left seven men on base. For the Chuckers, three runs, six hits, one error, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game.